Welcome back to my channel guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's going to be another product review. It's going to be on the Cedar Mill 333 slash bow case. I'll roll in a picture here of the case that I'll be doing a review for you guys. Full disclosure here, Cedar Mill did send this out. I reached out to them and asked if they were willing to send out a case for me to do a review. And they were more than happy to send me this 333 rifle slash bow case. So for those who don't know who Cedar Mill is, they're a smaller company out of uh, Longview, Washington. They make cases, anything from pistols, rifles, shotguns, etc. And they're relatively pretty affordable. Uh, compared to other cases on the market. I'm not going to name any names, but you guys should get the picture. Anything that is waterproof, dustproof, airline approved, etc. Cedar Mill does make it. So I'll leave a link in the description box below for them to check it out. And we'll dive in deeper here to, to take a look at the case that they sent me. All right, so brought you guys a little closer here. Again, this is the Cedar Mill Fine Firearms case. This is their triple three rifle slash bow case. Some uh, interior dimensions here really quick. It is 44 inches long by 18.3 inches wide, and then it sits 7.1 inches deep. It is waterproof, dustproof, shockproof. It is double foamed. So when you open her up, there's two layers of foam in here. There's one layer. There's another layer right there, and then there's a tiny, tiny layer on the bottom. I wouldn't count that as a layer technically, it's just there to protect the bottom of the foam. Now this does have the pluckable foam. What you want to do is measure out whichever firearm you're going to put in here. Trace it out with some type of marker, and then plug away whichever piece you need. So just jumping down just a little bit closer for you guys. Again, like I mentioned, this is the pluckable foam, so you can actually see the little squares in this. And you pluck away whichever pieces you don't want. Set your item in here. You should be set to go. I plan to permanently keep this plucked and for whichever firearm you want to put in here. A little tip is you guys can actually spray some Plasti Dip over this. That way it'll fill in these, these little slits here on pieces that you have not cut out. I've done that in the past and that's worked great. Moving on along the edge here, it is waterproof like I mentioned. So it does have this raised lip here all the way around. And then on top of here is a rubber gasket. So what this little ridge does is it pushes up into the rubber seal and seals out any water, moisture, dust, or anything like that. Wood on top here, it does have the egg carton style foam. I believe, yep. It's somewhat glued in, so I recommend not taking that out. If you guys look on the edges here, it does have reinforcement molded onto the case itself. What that allows you to do is actually sit the case either on this side and if you look on the back side here, it's got the same thing. So when you set the case vertically, it'll sit up and not fall over. Going up top here, some cases are going this route where it has molds on top of here. That is there just to make the case a lot more rigid. I've seen some cases without these and when you set things on top of it, it kind of just flexes down. But this here, you can actually feel how sturdy it is with these molded pieces right here. So this case is also airline certified. So there's holes here for you to put your locks in. There's one, two, three, and four. And then on this side here, it does have some wheels. So if you have three guns in here, you know that's going to get heavy. So you can always just drag it around if that's the case. So one more thing I did forget to mention, it does have an air valve here. So you can actually open and close this, which is really nice. Other cases I've seen, you can only adjust it one way but this you can actually open and close this is really crucial when you're traveling in an airplane so you're going to want to adjust that to whichever way you need to fly but the latches here are really nice as well so just click it up push it down there's very very little effort i've seen a lot of other cases where this latch is super hard and this one's really easy to open so i appreciate that and it has there's one latch here two three, four, five, and then six on the other side right here. So one more thing you guys probably saw already is that the case does open up halfway, meaning that the lid stays put and the bottom part stays on the bottom. I prefer this type of case just because I, I don't like cases where the front kind of just flops over and then you gotta reach over and pick it back up. But that's just me, personal preference. We'll get my AR-15 authority in here and see how it looks. So that right there is my AR-15. As you guys can see, it still has lots of room to fit. I'll throw a picture here where Cedar Mill shows that you can fit three AR-15s in here if you space them out correctly. I'm not sure if I'm going to pluck this foam yet just because I've been doing a lot of testing with this rifle and be doing a lot of optic reviews 
and gear reviews. I think I'm just going to leave it like this for now. So here on this side, still a lot of room right there. And down here, you can fit extra magazines, ammo, accessories, bipods, anything you want in this case. Like I said, it is pretty deep, so you can store things in there if you want. But that's all I have for the case here. Everything seems to be really nice, well constructed. And I can't wait to bring this case on many trips to come to see how well it holds up. We'll jump up top and get my final thoughts on it. All right, as you guys saw, that was the Cedar Mill Triple Three rifle slash bow case. Again, I just want to say thanks to Cedar Mill for sending out the case for me to do a review. Really appreciate it. Again, I'll leave a link in the description box below for you guys to check them out. Really great company, really affordable cases if you guys look at anything from AR-15s to pistols, rifles, shotguns, they even make a guitar case that fits a AR-15 which is pretty neat. My overall impressions on this case is everything seems to be really well built, quality of the foam is there, quality of the latches, everything's sealed up nice. Only time will tell to see how well this case performs but I'll keep you guys updated on the progress of this case and if you guys have questions leave in the comment section below, I'll try my best to answer them. And until next time be safe everyone.